Hi, I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at how to factory reset your SNOM 300 series phone that has older firmware. Now, if it has newer firmware, or if you know your password for the phone, then it's super easy. But if you don't know the password and it's got older firmware, that's when you get into trouble. So any SNOM 300 uh, series phone that has firmware greater than 8.7.3.7 it's super easy. This is my SNOM 300 phone and what you would do is you simply go in here you press uh, you press the star lower star volume up and number sign and then it would factory reset the phone. Now if you have older firmware that doesn't work so what you need to do is set up a TFTP server on your local network download the recovery firmware and then upload and then initiate a th uh, TFTP uh, reset from your phone. So that's what we're going to have a look into. So just to get started here, what we need to do is on my SNOM 300 phone, the first thing to do is to go on the back here, unplug it or uh, otherwise remove power. I'm using PoE so I don't have a power adapter here and then I'm going to plug it back into the net port to uh, start booting it up. Now one of the first things that happens here is it's going to say okay it's just booting up there and it says for TFTP update press a button. Okay so now it asks for an IP address so I'm uh, my network here is 10. 100.1.x so I'm going to put in here an IP address this is a static IP address of 10 and let's go back a little bit further here so you can see this um, okay right about there so we're going to go 10 dot uh, woof, now I've gone back okay we gotta restart that <laughs> So I'm going to unplug this, plug it back in. Now this is tricky because I don't, I the back uh, key hadn't been working for me. So we're going to go back here again real quick. And uh, there it is for TFTP update, press any key. Now we put in the IP address. So I'm going to go 10 and then star for the dot 100 uh, and then 1 and then star 99. Now that's a static IP address I'm assigning to this phone. And we're going to go up. It says TFTP server. So my TFTP server is running on my local desktop here, my local Windows, and I know the uh, IP address of my computer is 10.100.1.100. Okay, now a couple other things. Gateway. Well, you probably don't need to set this, but we'll set it anyways. Uh, my gateway is 10. Dot one hundred dot one. Oh, it's gonna let me go back. It is okay. One dot one, and then the last one here is the subnet mask. And so it, I need to change this to two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Now, now that I've got that information here, I'm gonna press the OK button, and it says loading image. Now it's actually. Uh, not loading the image and we're going to switch over to have a look at the program to see why. Okay, so here we have, uh, I'm using open TFTP server only because I googled TFTP and this is what's coming up. Uh, SNOM recommends a uh, pumpkin, a, a pumpkin TFT and that's fine too. So on this one here I've configured it. it's running as a service on my computer and what I've done is I've gone on to the SNOM website and you can see here uh, a file now this downloads a bin file and then what I've done is I've copied that into my data directory this is my root folder for um, uh, for the TFTP server and so this is the folder that the SNOM phone is is looking in so I'm gonna go back over here we're gonna have a look at the log and the log file says uh, let's just bring this up here bring this over to my uh, my other screen okay here we go now what you'll be able to see here is uh, it says no access can't find the file snom 300.bin so this file actually does need to be renamed as snom 300.bin so we're just gonna copy that and we're gonna go over here and stop and like that that's the file that it's looking for and then we can look back at the log file here I'm going to open it up in uh, edit uh, notepad 
Okay, so there we go. And if we scroll down to the bottom, it still says uh, no access found. Uh, if we come back. Okay, so we're going to wait uh, just a minute for it to find this file in this location. So I'm going to pause the video because it should pick this up by now, but it might have been that I took too long on the SNOM phone and it's, uh, it's uh, timed out. So I'll be right back. Okay, it, it turned out nothing had to happen here. I uh, just had to wait. So now it's picking up the file. And if you can have a look at my screen here, it's now saying erasing. Don't power off erasing 76 percent so it's starting to do the firmware update right now now you definitely do not want to turn off the power uh because if you do now it says writing image if you do uh you, there is no proper operating system or firmware on this phone and you might as well just throw it in the garbage so make sure you get good power uh and the power is not going to go out on this phone while it's doing this procedure Okay, so it just finished writing the image. Now it says system rebooting, and we're pretty much ready to go at this point. So when it reboots, the phone's gonna come back up, and I'm gonna be able to log into it with uh, the default username and password. Thanks for watching. This is Dar from the Helia Technology Report. Uh, and find out more about this phone on our store at www.buyphonesonline.ca. Bye for now.